Okay. So let's jump on over to my... God, I don't know how to use OBS. There we go. Hope that's not dropping frames. Yeah, alright. So this is the current track we'll be doing today. There's uh, not much, I'll have to probably switch it over, but as you can see, CC by. Good music, picture me doing the OK hand symbol. Let's get to work. Okay, so where was I before? Oh, I gotta make this big. Full screen, please. There we go. Oh, I got an update? Okay. Is there a way to like auto update on this? Hang on a second, this is a little off the rails. But I tend to like having auto updates going on on my VMs because I just don't care. Updates. Uh, download and install automatically. I guess I can't download and install updates automatically. Thanks. I guess. Oh god, it's killing the VM. Okay. So, well. Last time, I was looking at how to get Wireshark to intercept. Actually close that off. Get Wireshark to intercept uh, IRC TLS connections. So let's just quickly open up Firefox and unset the proxy because I don't need that anymore. Let's just quickly just find the proxy. I don't want to use a proxy. I guess I just have to reset all this. Oops, that's the wrong button, I think. I hope. Network. No proxy. Yeah, this is confusing already. References? Yeah, okay. I got this. It's coming back to me, I hope. Stroll all the way to network settings. Yeah, okay. No proxy. We got this. Do I got internet access? That's good. Really should have checked this beforehand, but let's do a quick dude I just installed updates, fine, whatever so we're going to open up Hexchat and connect to Twitch with Wireshark open oh, we have to build Wireshark first, which I've done. So... Quickly find out where Wireshark is installed. Development version. Okay. Is this gonna let me just capture from anything? Alright. Um, I don't know why connections are failing for that. I'm pretty sure I haven't touched anything. Let's close them off. Alright. No, it's fine. I didn't want to use the chat anyway. Let's open it back up. Let's do a quick start. 
I don't have permissions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I might just have to install it using the uh, package thing. And then open up Wireshark. Jeez, I made a mess here. Okay, fuck that. I don't need that. Uh, actually, I will need man in the middle proxy. Maybe that's why it's failing. I don't want to restart. What's settings for? Okay. Restart later, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so my local host thing should not be using man in the middle down. Wait, is that Twitch chat? That's trying to... Okay, yeah, so I have the settings for the proxy to be using for all connections, which is weird, so I'm just going to disable localhost and open up Twitch chat. this problem before. What did I do to fix it? I think I ran it with some special args. There we go. Yes, so I made the TSSL keylog file. Okay. I got this. Oh. Sorry, let's start monitoring. And let's close Firefox, because I don't need that. And let's reconnect to the server. Okay. So let's stop capturing. As you can see, it's encrypted. So we're going to have to go to Edit Preferences. I click preferences? Yes, I did. Protocols. SSL. Okay, yep. That's what I want. It's already set up. And that should let me decrypt it. I believe. Not capture. Hmm. Let's just check what's in the good old T file. There's no T file here. Okay. So that does show a problem. No such file or directory. Okay, so mem in the middle proxy is not working. Uh, let's try that. Okay. Line A six. Okay, well, let's do a quick reconnect and see if it captures anything. Nothing. Okay, so man in the middle proxy is broken. How did I install that? Okay, let's try that again. actually do need to reboot because I messed up with the updates so let's do that now 
stuff and show me the dang menu I'm pressing the wrong buttons okay there we go full screen ahead so let's open up man in the middle proxy let's see no errors promising Shark. Start capturing and let's open up the hex chat and see what uh, happens. Hmm. That's not good. So I'm still getting the error. Could be related to um, not creating the keylog file. Let's just actually set that up to the full path of it. And let's just not even open up. Let's chat client, let's just use OpenSSL for now. Is this okay so I have some broken packages okay so I have the log file which means yes so that has decrypted application data All right, let me go to that And yes, that has the cap. So what I want to do is make it so it shows up with actual um, IRC as a packet layer on top of that, like you can with HTTP. So we're just going to quickly patch Wireshark to do that. I had a peek at the code that it used before, and it seems fairly easily doable. We just head on over to uh, SEPAN. 
sectors. Okay, so we're gonna use packet um, SMTP as the base. So that if we search for helper or SSL to sector add, which just auto-completed for me. Then we have this hook that just lets you add it as a dissector. So let's do the same for the packet IRC. Um, what did I need to include? Packet SSL utilities. Gotcha. Um, handoff. Okay. So let's just see if we can smush this here. Um, TCP port, SSL, SMTP. Alright, so you want to do. What would be the handler? SMTP handler. SMTP handle would be port here. Okay, so it's IRC handle. TCP port, SSL, SMTP. SMT. Okay, so there's an IRC port. Just to define. Yeah, okay. So, I might actually just shove this here. And I think that's 66697. Oops, that looks about right. I believe so. Okay, and let's just find the SSL dissector again. Um, he wants to grab the SSL handle, so maybe we should do that too. Proto IRC. And what does SS handle get used for? think I need that at the moment. Okay, so let's just save this. Head on over to Wireshark. Uh, open a terminal up real quick. And use the package build package to build this. install it and hopefully actually I should probably just run make first no okay just in case I have an error but I suppose we'll find it soon Okay, so there's local changes. Let's see if we can just avoid giving that error. Okay, well, let's just just 
Jamaican, I guess. Uh, what's the Debian? We'll say. You know what? I feel like I'm going to have a headache if I do that. So let's see. Dpackage source commit. RSC is a cell dash RSC. Uh, I'll just use VM. Um, that's a lot of things. Can I just write to that? Okay. Let's build that then. happening we're going to try and set up SSL locally on our RC server so what was it um, uh, SSL just minimize that no, I'll keep it open I guess that's version 2. Are we on version 3? I'm not going to print the version number when you start up. Configuration and modules. <coughs> uh, let's see, what modules do we have? I want something to do with SSL, hopefully. Uh, you know what? I could just search SSL info, possibly. SSL, we're going to go with OpenSSL, so let's see, how do I use this? I think it would be compiled already, so let's see. Use the module tag, and bind, okay, I gotcha. Oh, this background is messing with me so much. Oh, please, mouse. What do I have? I have the configuration. Okay, and then we're just going to also bind. There. I don't know why there's dots there. It's probably going to be important or something. Bind address. No, I'll bind a local host, please. 46697, type equals client, SSL equals SSL. Okay, now have I set the certificate? Okay. That is a lot to take in. But try anyway. Advertised ports. Deprecated. Okay, so delete that. CA file. Conf ca.pm cert.pm. I think that would be in the conf. I don't know, it'll probably tell me Cypher's default, we don't really care. Um, we don't need, we don't care about any of this here. DH file, okay, we probably need that as well, but we can just generate that. Hash, MD5, no, it's okay. CA file. 
spots that need to be set. So, to generate some certificates, that's something that I totally haven't done the other day. Let's just watch this thing give an hour because it can't find the certificates. Oh, it doesn't have the module. All right. Hopefully it will be in the bin or out or whatever. Hmm. Okay, so what is in Inspirity? Use a doc modules M. Okay, so it has it does. So it doesn't have OpenSSL, only you can do TLS. Okay, well I guess I picked the wrong one. Any different? Not really. Configuration, OpenSSL, TLS. DH bits. Is there a DH file? That's not there. Renegotiation, no. Show ports. Don't need that. What's the default hash? I don't care about that either. So it's just CA cert CRL. Wait, which one's the key? CA cert CRL. Why it? Okay, well. Just paste that in. And we can also set up that advertised ports. I still don't know where this conf directory is. Conf cert pam. So, what if I touch conf cert pam? Does that help? Uh, make the error. Conf. Will that give me a different error? Unable to load. Okay, so what if I just touch cert.pam? Dang, dude. Where is that? Let's just see if we already have a certificate. Like a local host certificate. So it's Generate SSL certificate. To check out the top link.
Okay, this will have to do. This is going to be self-signed anyway. Okay, so let's do that. And this is going to be um, localhost.set. Ah, oh, okay then. Um, do. Oh, I forgot how bad this uh, input keyboard thing was where it just deletes everything. Okay, EC, SSL, certs, localhost.cert. No, wait. This would be keys. Private. Localhost.key. What was that other one? So far. Out. Okay. Oh, hey, Able MVP. I had the chat hidden. Yeah, that sounds about right with that. Uh, command 30 that's 10 years though isn't it hope you don't use that in production SSL sets uh, what's the common name going to be yeah it's fair I have no idea how I'm going to get man in the middle proxy to just ignore this blatant self signed certificate. It's fine though. Okay, so it's Gmod. Uh, maybe it was 600. That. Gmod. 660. Might be 666 actually. How's your day going? Oh, it's not six, it's gonna be four. I get it. Okay, so we're going to use EDC SSL search and private. I don't have a CA file, so let's just ignore that for now. Actually, that's like XML stuff that's going to get me annoyed. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's a PEM file. Okay, let's just see if GNUTLS wants to take it. So it's... Climate... Uh, Localhost.key. Did I write .key or .pem? Yeah, okay. So let's just... Oops. Start that and check the journal. Oh, what kind of side project are you about to start working on? Okay, so I think what's happening here is we have to add the RSC daemon to the key. So it's chain group RSC. I'm going to only give it group privileges because I'm mean, I guess. Requested key.pm. Hmm. 
Why did it try and get more of a proof of concept really for Kubernetes configuration management, having a hard time dealing with all the Kubernetes files, the microservices, and multi-stage deployments? Yeah. Yeah. I I have no idea about Kubernetes. I researched it the other day. Oh no, not not YAML. I was gonna try out whatever Kubernetes is. I still don't know what it is. I looked upon the website for it and I still have no idea what it actually is. I, maybe it's some kind of standard, I think, but it's just confusing. Okay, CA file, key file, key file, okay. I gotcha. Is this enough to boot? The requested data were not available. You sure? Um, what user are you running as? Okay, I'll... Just let everyone read from EDC SSL private and hope that I don't mess up the permissions for the keys. It's just a platform for managing containers. Yeah, but there's like a lot of those. Plus read executable for directories. Okay, fine, I'm not putting it in the right place. So where does App Armor want me to put it? So you just want me to put it in EDC instance. Okay, whatever. I tried. My tab complete isn't working and this is confusing me. Okay. Such a hero. How's why is Shark doing? It's uh it's happening, so while I'm doing that, let's see if we can get man in the middle dump. Uh oh. Can we get it to just not care about Okay, here we go. SSL insecure. Yeah, I got this. It's 
that like common? So it's just Does that work? Okay, now let's open up hex chat and try connecting. Um local host settings. Nope, that's the wrong one. Server channel list. Nope, that's also the wrong one. Hex chat network list. Local host edit. Um, and we want to do six six nine seven instead. Use SSL. Yes, please. Okay. Connect. Okay, that was close. It did man in the middle of me. But it didn't use the raw TCP. So let's just quickly see if I'm not spacing that for all hosts that match. Alright, uh let's just grab that a bit more. Um Grab that a bit more. Similar to ignore. Maybe passed mode multiple times. Okay. So I guess it's just plural because it. Regex. Um, server. Reconnect. <gasps> I did it. Um, not too happy that man in the middle proxy is just allowing SSL version three to happen. Uh, I don't care though. Well, I do care. I, I care enough to quickly check if there's a way to fix this cipher protocol. Actually, I'll just check that it's not the client. Oh, maybe the actual server allows that. I don't know. Well, it works. That's pretty good. How are you doing, Wireshark? You're still doing stuff, huh? Okay, so what else do we actually need? So I have the ability to connect to local stuff fairly easily. Okay, let's just quickly search up embed TLS and see if we're going to be able to do TLS in DOS. Otherwise it's going to be a bit weird like intercepting tunneled TLS. I can just read the loop back, but this is gonna be dope. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. CMake lists. Well, I don't think DOS has CMake. Uh, library, it's port, it's supposedly NZC. Um, we could try compiling it but I'm just a bit worried that it's going to have the wrong type sizes. See, this oh, it doesn't look... You know what, I'll just grab instead. 
packet RSC changed on disk. Would you like to reload? Drop your files and uh, reload. You know what? I said no, but I also think I do want to know. Um, so how do I reload? Can I? Yeah, we might be able to get embed TLS working in DOS. No one else has done it, but I mean, why not? Where am I going? Yes, to Wireshark. No, that's not to Wireshark. I don't know why I said yes. Wireshark. Wireshark. Evan dissectors. Oh. Packet. I see. Let's just. Uh, let's just quickly save that as a copy on the desktop. Oh, okay, so it did actually happen. Um, is it making it now? It's stripping the binary, I think, so that meant that it did in fact happen. Where's that embed TLS? Just a little bit worried that uh, this hasn't been tested on a 16-bit system uh, because who would tests? Can I port the tests to? Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. Scripts. That's a lot of stuff too. Program. Test. Self-test. Okay, well, let's just see if we can get to the library here. Okay, so how do we build this? Windows. Could work. That builds the library that I would have to include. What's the configs for? Place the default file. Okay, so let's say we build a library. What then? Is that everything? this ANCC. Embed. What? Okay. Byte it's to U32 little endian. Okay, so it's using the right types. Could work if Whatcom supports those. This is going to be interesting. Okay, uh, how's that doing? Let's just quickly see if my Wireshark thing works now. Uh, internet. Wait, which one did I actually install? I think, no, uh, I'll just go with Wireshark. Wireshark GD. Okay, so installed both. That's cool, I guess. It's a little strange to have two versions of your program for a different UE toolkit each. But I'm not going to judge. Dude, apt. you got to install. Okay. What other SSL stuff is there? Can I port open SSL to DOS. Just have a quick look at that. Downloads. Get up. Show me the gits. I'm 
move SSL. That's what I want. So that would be in SSL. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to just go with whatever. Errors while processing. Doesn't matter, I got my wire shot. Hey, Dr. Frankenstein. Welcome to my, my hell. What's this? What is this? I don't know, doesn't show up focus down here. It's probably important. Just pop up a window like that with your splash screen, it's fine. Was that like the, this application crashed? Is that what it was? Yeah. Let's try again. No. Let's try again. Oh, yeah. Is this like... Is this the one I downloaded before? No. So this might very well be it. I guess whatever I did broke GTK. Um, I don't know what I did to deserve that, but... But it has happened. No, it's gone. Um, why? It's just no debugging symbols find, found. Sure, okay. Backtrace. Uh, that's exactly not helpful. Uh, oh, it's the Ubuntu crash handler. Oh, it's just gone. It's hap. Oh, I guess that crashed. Okay. I don't know what that is. Go away. So, Wireshark, you ain't being too cool right now. I don't quite understand why. Can I just try running it from here? No, that's not a flag. No, it's not a... What? No, it really wasn't a flag, okay. No, um... That's very strange. Let's just make it again. No, okay. Oh... Is this one of those things where it uses an out of tree build? That's fine. <coughs> okay, so what's in run? Why shock? Cannot set parent, new parent is in a different thread. Well, if you've got thread problems, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so... My current plan is to just copy my patch. And... 
get the actual wine shark source code. Wire shark. Welcome to my wire shark build stream. Today we're going to be building wire shark. Um, I guess I'll put it in the folder with the rest of the Wireshark stuff and regret that later because I won't tell... You know what, that, that folder's on fire. We're just going to make a new one. Let's W get this. Yeah. Look at that. That speed. This should probably have the configure thing too. So let's just do configure. No, there's no configure. Okay, let's read the readme. Okay. That's not helpful. Let's read the big readme. There's none. Let's read the install. There's nothing. There's nothing. Mm. I kind of resent that they shipped the source code without a readme on how to build it. Oh, it's the install. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wish to build Wireshark. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, I got it. CMake options. Okay, let's just do build. CMake. Dot, dot. Yeah, I mean, if your project says this is software beware, I just feel a, a little bit concerned. I spent like an hour or two setting up Z Shell on my computer earlier today. probably going to spend a day reading the Vim manual again and setting up my Vim RC. That's, that's what's been going on with my life. Okay. Optional packages. So you've got no errors? Great. Make it. Is it good practice to just set new d development binaries? I don't think I've seen anything on the internet about that. There's probably a good reason, but I'm just going to ask my chat here. I can't think of any any possible reason not to set new d development binaries. I did it, I created an SSL certificate. It's respectable. No. Because then it's gonna be like you set you the binary, but then it loads in like a shared library that the developer controls and then they like just do a, they shell you. Is that what it's called? Shelling? Okay, I suppose while Wireshark's building, we should do a little bit of DOS programming. I resent <laughs> uh, no DOS programming on my stream. My Twitch DOS box stream. But we should probably try and like build something. Um, did Slurp just load up? Please don't tell me Slurp crashed. Did it crash? No! No, what's... Why? Oh, that's right. It is going, but I just have it set to like, you know, 
Uh, fork. Yeah, let's run DOSBox. Ooh. No? I am... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got it. Let's try... Using a web browser real quick. Do we have the internet? No. Did I break is Slurp broken? Yeah. Why? Did did it seriously update Slurp just to break it? Is that what happened? What the what the heck? That's not cool, Ubuntu. just do that. You can't just like build packages and push them and have them still broken. I was going to do a bug report to Debian but it requires email and I'd have to like copy the email to my mail client on a different computer. Ubuntu had an internal error. No, don't associate yourself with slow Ubuntu. It's not your fault. I mean, I guess it is. Bad command or file name. Did I just comment that out and in a way that DOS just doesn't understand? The Unix comment? Okay, let's try connecting to the internet. 100 cycles a millisecond. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, it is, it is there. Okay. Yes, I'm trying to quit. Okay. So, do we have Whatcom stuff? Yes, okay. So, how are we gonna build this? Uh, we should probably like... LPQ1? What's LPQ1? LPQ1, why did I... Why do I have that? What did I do? Okay, so we're just gonna create a directory and name it source and then we're gonna put TLS and uh, we're just gonna copy across the TLS code and make file and see how long it takes to break. my place. Okay, cd source tls, oh wait, cd source tls. Just also fix that comment while we're at it. actually getting like super confused because I haven't heard this song before even though I have the guy's music. I'm not sure if it's like my main computer has broken audio or something but I guess. Why is nothing showing up in here? Oh I guess it's because 
file names are too long. Okay. All right. Let's just quickly see how uh, Open Whatcom handles this. Uh, Devel. Yeah, I tried installing long file name support, and I. I don't know, messed it all up, it just didn't work. I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, is there a make file here? It should be in like, samples, I think. Samples, goodies, make file. That's there. Is it because they're not all capitals? Do I have to convert it to capitals for DOSBox to to see it for what it is. No, I don't want that to be, I don't want DOSBox to be like that. Don't be like that, DOSBox. No, I messed up the command thing. Oh, I'm getting so, like, why do you have to be like that, DOS? Why are you doing this to me on stream in front of everyone? You're embarrassing me. <laughs> okay, so... Where'd my source directory go? What? Why is it not there? Oh... Uh, Oh, what is happening? This should be like, this should be a source directory there, right? Like if I open up with DOS, like why isn't there a source directory? I feel like I've done something very wrong, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Because I can CD to it, but it's just not there. Okay, source. Okay, so I think this is some kind of permissions error. So let's just have a quick look at these permissions. I don't know what that noise is. What is that? What is that? Okay, so source wants to be that, like the others. Shimod, um, others groups. Jesus Christ, that's such a weird. Why is it doing this? Oh. Maybe it had an internal structure. That's something that would make sense. I need to switch the music. What else we got here? I'll have to switch the music. Because I need the music. Okay, so that's album five. Let's just update the old stuff real quick. Um, so that's that. Um, and the download. Obs, what did you just, I, did I align that wrong? No, I don't want it to be like that. Oh, I didn't put the uh, artist name in it, did I? Maybe that'll fix things.
Yeah, that's not fixing things though. What did I actually do? Um, this is now an OBS stream. That should be transformed, edit transform, position alignment top right please. And I don't know, I don't know how to get that over there. How did I do it last time? I think I just like lined it up by eye. Yep, so let's just do that. And da da, I did it. I, I hope that didn't look as terrible as my, as I, I don't know, did it. Okay, so it was like an issue of DOS, I guess. DOS box. The, the big D? Is that what we should call DOS box? DOS? Okay, so library has CMake lists and a make file, I think. And we're just going to put the CMake lists not here. Oh, so that's a git ignore. What's, DOS doesn't even support git, so that's useless. so bad. Oh no. Oh. 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 Well, something happened. So let's see, what is this make file actually? We're actually going to just rename that to make file dot old. It's probably going to annoy DOS so bad. Let's check on the Wireshark make. Okay, that's still happening. Split the file pane here. And then we're going to go up and check out open Whatcoms make files and just grab one of those. I think it was in MTCP that was actually... No. It was in... Devel. No, it was in what TC? It was. In, oh God, I'm not remembering where I put my development files. Devel. Open Whatcom. Samples. I swear I can part the tell that thing once sometime. Okay, let's check out open what commas make files. And they look a bit different. So let's just see if we can kind of push it into it. Like morph it. So let's see, it doesn't like question mark eagles. Well don't you worry, we're not going to have any of that equals for you. Um, it has processor. What's warning C flags? We don't have any warning C flags. Does what com sort support debug stuff? Um, 
I doubt it's actually going to be a G3, so let's just get rid of that. We're not on a Windows build. We're not going to do a shared library. Wait. If def shared. AR dash. What are you talking about? We got it. Okay, obj. We got the obj. Silent, phony, shared, static. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Extensions, but for what is this? Okay, implicit rules. So we're just going to do static. Wait, what's the all? Whatever. We don't have an AR thing, do we? Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do any dynamic libraries. Get that. Get the H out of here. Please. I don't want to use too much colourful language today, but honestly don't need that right now. I don't know what the... I don't know what I'm going to do with... with this. Okay, this looks a bit better. Local C flags, file offset. Yeah, okay. C dot rob. Does this still specify? Yeah, okay, so just pause. Okay, so how does this make a linked library? Do we have that technology? CC Have any C flags? Local C flags. Okay, so we actually do have that. Um, I don't know what's going to happen here, but we need to find out how to make a damn library. Because if we don't have a damn library, then we're not going to be getting any of this damn working. Damn. Show me how to make a DLL, please. Okay, so there's W link. So we'll have to figure out how to use W link. Okay, that's fine, but for now, this should do something, right? Command list does not belong to any target, so it's at line 12. Um, that's not a command list, my friend. But I can see where you would get that idea. Because instead of using backward slashes, we're just going to use that. We're going to use a regex for that. No, it's not the right one. I have to double escape it, don't I? What the hell? No, I don't. Oh, I have to triple escape it, of course. Dude. 
What? Is there like a space before it? Okay. No, what is this? What is this misery? What? Okay, let's just try finding this. Oh, I see. So that's escaping it. I don't want it to escape that. This is the worst regex. What if I do another search? Okay. Another one. Another one. Okay. So that just highlights it? Okay, well, let's just replace that then with that. Replace all, please. Reply, please. Okay. Okay. I'm not, not mad, but I'm very angry. Extension C dot O not defined. Command list does not belong to any target. Okay. Okay. It's okay. And no, I'm good. Shows OV. Oh yeah, never mind. Probably because like it's an 8.3 file format and launch is three. Extensions. .o not defined. You don't understand. I defined you up here. Oh, I suppose I did it wrong then. Extension C declared more than once. What do you... What do you... How? No, I don't want S. Don't give me S. AES.O does not exist and cannot be made from existing files. Well, I beg to differ, computer. So what if I do dot C dot O? Extension 
extensions reversed in implicit rule. Um, um, do you want me to reverse them? No, you, you've almost got me. What if I just like, remove that? Is it the echo? Is that a problem? Okay, what if I just control H dot O with dot Obj? Will that help at all? Dot C dot Obj. Extension.ob declared more than once. Extension.c declared more than once. No, it's not true. <gasps> oh my god. Something happened. Bad command or file name. Okay, so how do we do includes in Whatcom? has a Whatcom file. That's cool. Okay. So should it be like that? What's file offset bits and does that need to be 64? Cannot execute I include no such file or directory. AES.c. Oh, I have to CC it? Is that what it wants? Okay. Oh, I didn't set cc properly. cc equals wcc. I see. C. No, it's okay. I don't need more. I don't need more help menus. Okay, well, I would like help menus if you're going to soft lock me if I don't take your help menus, but. Okay then. How's Wireshark doing? Oh, you built? Okay, let's just do the patch P1. Is that gonna patch properly? Oh, whoops. the Cabaros file. It's fine. Not enough memory to load program. Are you kidding me, my friend? Oh, 
Oh, they changed SSL to TLS in this Wireshark release. Not enough memory to load program. No, they didn't. They just changed some parts of it. Okay, well that's fine too. I did O2. Pre-allocate memory? My dude, I got this. Ah. Uh, uh, mem size 16. Let's pump it up to a good 32, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get that 32 mem size. memory Snap, cross box, 
Current. No, common. No. No, there's nothing here. Oh, I might have just saved it to the right place. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Where's BIM size going? Um, it's not here. That could explain why things aren't working very well. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to give it more memory. I just don't understand why you're not letting me do that, DOSBox X. That really is your 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 name. B mem size. No, it's video memory, not virtual memory. DOS mem limit. Mem alias. Private area size. box mem size. This install, okay, which Wireshark? Okay, let's also launch Wireshark. They just stunned me. I looked away for a second to check my emails. If it died on me, I swear. Why? Maybe it's because Wireshark's already installed and something's happening. I don't give a crap what you want, computer. What's Memsize doing? DOSBox X. Oh, it might be in core or something. That's why it didn't show up. Alright. Core mem size 32. Let's try booting that up. Yeah, we got it the memory stuff. Does that let us make stuff? Nope, not enough free memory. So that is confusing, but I shall increase the memory some more. Uh, you shall have 64 megabytes. And uh, if that's not enough, then something's wrong with the program, because I could run it manually with just like whatever I had. Probably not detecting this problem. Okay. This is a terrible table.
Okay, this seems to be okay. Set DOS 16M equals uh, 1M. Not enough memory to work program. Why? Okay, got the set plus. No. Okay. This music's rad. Okay, now we'll watch shock work. No. It won't. What if I use the GDK version? Why must you do this to me? Okay, what if I just... I don't know. Maybe I need to run a disk route. Maybe there's some Debian uh, uh. Where's like that Rick and Morty reference of I just got bored, I'm bored now. for Wireshark GDK and then we're going to build it maybe my patch is breaking it I don't want that to be true so I'm just going to ignore that possibility okay so WCC 386 there's a 386 oh why am I not using the 386? What is wrong with me? Not enough memory, but you're using the 386 program, so you don't understand. Is there a WMake 386? Oh, I'm, I'm so absolutely unhappy at the moment. I don't want 386, do I? Probably not.
I'll make not enough memory. Oh. Oh, is this some possible help? building it one at a time and just like script that up instead what com string dot h do I need to run that does that help oh that does help. Have I been doing it wrong? Oh. I was doing something wrong because now I have a different error. Can initialize load up the next loader. This was a problem that was solved by switching the DOSBox X. So what we're actually going to do... Alright, I guess I'm just not going to use V. I don't know what the hell I just did there. That was weird. Did it again. File save, file exit, 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 and let's edit this DOS configuration file to not handle memory. And we'll see how that goes. Unable to open the chat config. So we're a bit closer now. the wrong slashes. Is that what's up? Are they able to open check? Check. Check. 
Is that because it's too long of a name? Might be. Let's go back to the embed TFS. value too large. Oh, there's an error. No. Oh, we got an object. Uh, oh, what line was it there? that in the platform utility. Okay, that's a very long name. So what we're going to do is to go to Okay. So let's see, move, include, embed to the platform, till, include, embed to the yes, flat, util, to page, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Says recurse.
expecting comma but found pointer. I guess. Type required in parameters. I feel like that's including another big file. Platform time. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find the name eight, uh, dot eight. I don't have regex this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Type F. Sort it by length. I guess I can't. Um, let's just do that as files. Let's open that again. Uh, okay, so that's the cutoff, I guess. Uh, 
Alright, so we find that, that gives us a name, file, What? There should be a file variable. What about just one? What if I just do that? Does that help? spelling it wrong, I'm an idiot. said Oh, 
on pat, 1.3 on hatch, pat 13 on hatch. Memory buffer alloc.h and the alloc.h. Okay. What the hell did I just do? Whatever I did, it looked like it worked. Jesus Christ. Alright, 1195. What are you shifting that's so bad? It was just because I didn't specify a type. length size t oh no you're shifting to me that's probably fine there's probably no reason not to do that what's a million times a million lines oh yeah it's going to be interesting to see if it works. Hey, not by my hut. This is just some SSL code I found on the internet. Surely it'll work in DOS. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a uh, embed TLS. Arc 4. I just like do a everything dot C. ASN one pass dot C. Why didn't that show up? Um, no, C does not have a native SSL library. C barely has anything. You usually have to use the operating system stuff, and in this case, you don't have anything in DOS. Oh, I messed up a little bit. Yeah, C programming is fun. 
Uh, what programming languages do you do? Oh, okay. So just DevOps. I feel like I've asked before, but what DevOps stuff? Go's pretty cool. It, it does some controversial things, but that's okay. Please, I just want this to work. Please, Ruby, orc me. Oh, a blockchain company. That's cool. Bisoncharles.co. Oh. This is me renaming all the files to 8.3 format, by the way, which is, uh, it's fun. Libra Initiative. Oh, is that the old Microsoft operating system DOSBox? So, oh, sorry, let me read this properly. Not Bahamut has posted that they do DevOps for Bison, which is part of Libra on Facebook, and that's pretty newsworthy. And a rule breaking doorknob says denial of service or old Microsoft operating system. Uh, old Microsoft operating system. Sorry to disappoint. One, two, three, four. I think it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's only when it gets down to ASN RIT that it becomes a problem. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff to rename. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly write that, and then I'm just gonna have a quick see. Uh, okay, what if I just hash all these? Oh. Depends how you write the bot to make the request and how requests you make. The authentication into uh, API for Twitch, then it can be either. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have to do it with SSL, I can always just wrap that in Linux, since it's going through Linux anyway, but I was just wondering could I actually do it in SSL? Um, Oh yeah, I don't think I could DOS Twitch with my internet connection, and I also don't want to go to jail for DOSing Twitch. There's no uh, government with uh, Libra, is there? That's blockchain stuff. That stuff's... Well, I was thinking of like writing a uh, bot for Ethereum. Ethereum. Filthy, filthy fiat. Yeah, it's gonna be Ethereum. Ethereum. That's close enough. Oh, how do you actually filter stuff in there? Twitch would require a network of computer equivalent to the entire country supply of computers to DOS. I mean, from the outside, sure, but if you like go to the Twitch headquarters and like you have some bolt cutters, you could, you could probably maybe cut their fiber. Alex Jackpot says, Hi, how things are going? I've seen your Duke Gear 2 channel here in Twitch. That sounds like something that a bot would say. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I don't know why people have to like write bots that are obviously bots. It's like getting the spam emails where they just like use your email address They're like, hey. Oh, I have to ban it. All right, hang on a second. Don't, don't use your bots for evil. TV pop out. I have it, my uh, actual Twitch login on a different page. Why am I just searching filter? Vim filter lines. Hey, candidate name. Unless you had a time machine, that content is unavailable. Uh, I just want to pop out the Twitch on my main computer Twitch. It's okay. I saw, I was reading a paper about, uh, Ath -E -Re what's the, uh, what's the name they use on the stock ticket? Ath? Yeah. Math. That's what I've seen. Uh, I, I read a part of the paper of the VM design and it was very mathy and I was like, I can't do this. But then I saw like a spec for it like the opcodes of the VM, and I was like, maybe I can do this. But, uh, it just seems a bit too high risk. Am I actually in my stream chat now? Test. Okay, yes, so, that if that bot happens again, I'll ban it. Okay, global command. No. Okay, I need to focus. Vim filter lines. Filter's the wrong word, isn't it? It should be... Vim run lines through command. Um, am I like remembering something wrong? Because you used to be able to just run stuff in Vim and it would just filter it. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, well, files, line, line, done, T, M, D, fives. No! Token here, done. I feel like this is actually a bad idea, so I'm just gonna not do that, and instead I'm just going to cut some stuff here. ASN one rip. Wait, that's four. One, two, three, four. So it's actually not that. It's more here. Okay, so it's just these ones. These are the same ones that I did before. Okay. Just open these up. And paste that in. I should really learn to Acme editor one day. No, I don't want to use like a literal dot H. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just paste that. Yeah, okay, whatever. And then we'll see what that actually gets.
So some of these didn't exist. And one par. Yeah, but I'm also trying to give them somewhat meaningful names. Oh no, I could actually over, uh, do it over that. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Where am I up to? Here, cipher wrap, that can be uh, sit wrap. Next 509C, create 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, there. Uh, flat, detail. There, flat here. 509CRT.C, 509CSR.C, version.C, there. So, wall. Split that either. Oh no, I can just put trunk DOS at the start and just execute it. Then I can just paste it in, so I'll just do that instead. What are you doing with it? What mode are you in? Yeah, but Orc is one of those tools that I've that I haven't learned, and I feel like if I learn it, my head's going to explode. It's like this weird kind of Unixy. I just want some some tools that do some things, but then orcs like a whole thing. And I'm like, I can't deal with this. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Oh, I have to update the make file. Oh, this is hell. Oh, I'm so... Oh. Oh, why am I doing... What is that? Get rid of that. I don't know what that is. That's a said thing. Oh. No. Is it? Good, be quiet then, music. Is that better? Why is there said files everywhere? Is said running? What business does said have? Why am I de-messaging to get my... Alright, PS rep said. Alright, Arc4, ARIA, so these are all the C files, so, make file. Oh, it should have renamed, oh, because it didn't rename them because they were, uh, OBJs. Alright, what do we got? 
ASM one pass. That's PRS. Rit. Blowfish, Camellia, CCM. Cha cha. Cha poly. Cypher, Cypher wrap. So that would have been C wrap, I think. Sip wrap. CDR debug, DES, yeah. ECGB, EC, ECJ. That seems like something I didn't change. Yeah. Well, this is not alphabetical. ECB curve. Entropy. Uh, what was the pole? Entropy pole. Oh, entropy. Oh, I hope I didn't override anything. Oh. Well, I'll find out. PK pass. Platform. Uh, what's uh, P for Platu? Poly RSA intent. So that would be RSA int threading. I think I just wrote thread. We're not going to have any threading anyway, so that probably doesn't important. And that was version. And I'll just ignore all the other stuff for now. Okay. Is that gonna compile? Shift amount too large. That's that's worrying. That seems to be happening a lot. But other than that, it seems to be compiling. I wish WMake would not be broken, because it just tries to initialize loaders and fails. Uh, let's just search up. Check the bug reports. Let's also check WireGuard. You okay, WireGuard? Go away, slurp. Uh, okay, so that's just building the source code. Do package, build package, no sign. Okay. like really confused why WMake can't fork or whatever DOS does to load LinLoader. And I've run out of music, so let's just quickly see what's up. Oh, we ran out of music for this guy. This dude's pretty good with music. Uh, I'll just run album dash, that's a good album. See if OBS can deal with this. Yeah, it worked. So why is Lin Linuxy? Sorry. Oh, is issue an XE? Oh, I spelled issue wrong. Too fast, too quick. No, it is uh nothing here. That's helpful. Is there any commands we can t t 
too fast and furious. Is there any commands we can add to WMate to make it okay with what I'm doing to it? Do not erase files, no problem. What can make version 1.9? Okay, so what if I like go to open what can and see if there's a new version? Have I even updated things? Maybe I need to update my packages in FreeDOS. Too fast, too furious. Yeah. GitHub version 2 fork from 2015. Yeah! You could try that one. It supports long file names now. Well, isn't that convenient? Yeah, it is worth a shot, but at the same time, I feel like if there's binaries, I'll try it. Oh, I just killed DOS. No, I think I killed DOS. Jeez. Yeah, I killed DOSBox. I tried. Okay. So they have builds of it. Open what conversion to? Is this like a community? Oh, it's got a lot of activity. According to the GitHub stuff. Latest build and there's installers. Do I want installers? Probably not. Does it have versions that run in DOS? I don't know what the hell that said stuff is. What is that? It's not there. That's probably why I can't delete it. Probably to do with my renaming. Who is open Whatcom version 2? Are they just like random people? I mean, they snagged the open Whatcom GitHub. Oh, okay, so this is uploading stuff, so maybe it'll update open Whatcom to not crash. But if it doesn't, And I still have. Oh, it's downloaded. Okay. 444 meg. That's a normal thing to. Uh... Okay, so that's just. That's a lot. I'm not sure if this is going to be self hosting in DOS. And I'm not sure if that's important. I mean, I could cross compile this library. What the hell is a Moncas? Oh, there's bin W. That looks like Dossy. Is that to do with DOSs? Transpile to C-sharp. Uh, that, that thought hurts my head. 
I don't want that to happen in my head. Transpiling is... <sighs> I suppose we could transpile to JavaScript. That could help somehow. Okay, let's read the readme. Okay, DOS specifics. Oh, you work in DOS, do you? Oh. Ah. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Include Whatcom. So I'm just so I just dump it at C drive Whatcom, I guess, and it has the bin W. I just dump 400 megabytes of files into my DOS. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll do that in a second. I suppose I could just junk a whole bunch, like, docs. Oh, do they have actual... Oh. I guess it's nice they have their... docs in bitmap files. Oh, okay. You know what? That's good. So let's go back to DOS. Open what com? Let's create open what com two and dump that stuff in. Do I need? The NT stuff, probably not. Bin L. That looks like Linux, maybe? Nice. Okay, bin W. What else? BLD. Just got Linux stuff. Bin P. Bin P? What's bin P for? Docs edit H DevOps work. Yeah, it's kind of just crawling around in computers. Then you go home and you you cry. You wonder what you did to deserve this. I think I need to copy that. Yeah, I guess I'll copy that again. Logs. I don't need logs. NLM. I don't know about NLM. RDOS. Oh. That's not good. All 
at least you're making a killing in hell. Everyone loves the hells. What's in source? Yeah, I should copy. Oh, please don't spam keyboards, QMU. What's grip VC? That's international stuff. Okay, so let's read the readme again. Edit. Okay. So we're going to go to here and grab the OW set and then in W edit H sample source. Okay, so I might be able to just junk a bunch of this stuff eventually. Yeah. So time to open up the old DOS box. I just realized how awful this would be running in Windows if you're using C because of the way Windows handles TLS. Hmm. How does Windows handle TLS? Does it handle it in a sane way? It uses registries to sit to set the cipher seats suites. And its own SSL management library. Yeah. I mean, that's not too much different to how most operating systems do it. Okay, is this gonna work? Oh, I'm getting raided? What the heck is is this? Except you use PFX in Windows? Hello, Lomabado, and May the US Bernardo, and Janik, and everyone that's here. And Jodjipper? Today we're trying to get something to compile in DOS and it is it is not the amount of fun I expected it would be. Ah, oh, is it gonna crash? Uh oh no. It's still crashing. That's fine. Maybe I just have to like skip the make file then. Uh, why you gotta be like that? I could write a batch file instead of the make file. PFX on Windows is just both certificates with a pretty long encrypted pass string. So... Symmetric certificates? Is that... Or are you talking about the certificate store? They encrypt the certificate store? Are these private keys or just certificates? Virus. I mean...
Why would you do that? Yeah, I know what uh, PKCS12 is, but like, let me just uh, ditch this make file, try and make something good in my life for once. Alright. Oh, where's, where is it? Um, make files are good, but this one is not good because it doesn't work. And since I'm working with things that, I'm working with like 10 stacks of things that kind of work in, I'm not going to write my own, are you crazy? Oh, that would actually, I think writing a make file thing would kill me. Because it's, it's tearing complete, isn't it? I don't want to write anything that's Turing complete, but also meant for describing things. I know. You should see me troll the chats, telling people to do weird stuff. Oh, that sounds really bad, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Find dot type f name. I don't know what a Moncas is. Is that is that something I should know? What is an emote? Is that like an emoticon? HKDF. What am I writing here? Am I going to write like a Preprocessor in order to get it to. Oh no, Vim. This isn't the right Vim. This is Vim Tiny and it feels really weird. Okay, WCC, I. You know, some people get so upset about emojis. It makes me happy. It made me happy when there was a big fuss about emojis being put in Unicode. But especially with the poo emoji. People hated that. Okay. So, can I just run this make.bat? Oh no! No! It's not got dependency resolution! Oh! Oh no! Hi, Lama Yo. Oh. No, I have to find another make. Okay. Maybe I can like use GNU Make. I think there was a port of it or something. Oh, DOSBox. Yeah, it's the poop emoji. I just, I don't understand why... Well, I can't understand. Believe me, if, if like DOS4GW was open source, I'd be probably stuck in its internals right now trying to figure out why it wasn't loading properly. It just gives me like error one. What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. Okay. Let's install GNU Make. Oh. DOS is slow when you are compiling Wireshark in the background. No, I missed development. Oh. Oh, is, is it in Unix like tools now? They reorganized it. 
maybe I should be cross compiling this. I don't know. I I am slowly just losing it. I don't know what I'm doing anymore with this. Hmm. There's GCC. I could try GCC. Let's just full write, rewrite into Perl. Easy. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Absolutely not. I thought of learning Perl once, because I was like, wow, I can write, like, advanced shell scripts using Perl. Because you can just, like, inline regex and expect... I wouldn't have dependency errors anymore. I think I would, though. Like, you have to use CPAN. Can I just install make? Yeah, why well, wouldn't have my currency dependency errors? Although, I think my dependencies are fine, it's just that everything else is kind of ruined. Okay, I'll try with GCC's toolchain. It's a pretty new toolchain, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to have anything happen at all. Okay, let's see. C++ to C comment converter. No, I'm good. Okay, binary utilities. Do I want that? That seems like something I want, but it also doesn't have make. That's GCC, I think. Oh, I just, I, I just, like, return orient program myself there. You shouldn't believe in things, it just makes them... It makes them happen with a lot of pain. New lib. That's nice. Um... I want make, though. I'd go for... I'd settle for a BSD make at this point. I'd be okay with that. What am I searching that up for? Freedos. Software list. G GNU DOS? It's a library designed to help who are coming from a DOS background. Wow. They have like a census of GNU programs because they just they keep coming with them. Staring installment. What do you mean like star starring installment? Hi, I'm Richard Installman. Install GNU. Okay, let's actually have another look here, and I think I think Daddy Storman right now would be a bit sad at me using Whatcom. Let's see. Googling for me. I have Google here, except I think the main problem is that I'm using a VPN and all these sites are blocking VPNs. Why you gotta do that?
Okay. Unix-like tools. It's got to be in here. But I'll also check this page of DOS 16. Is it because I'm using uh, the wrong DOS extender? I think I've... No, oh, I killed that, okay. DG, DJ GPP make. Alright, whatever. That might work. Wireshark done. Nearly. Is DGPP mate going to even recognize this file? DOS 16M error, not enough memory to load program. Make static. Commands, commands before first target. Oh, okay, so um, what if I just replace all that? with that no that froze Pluma why Okay. Oh. That crashed. DOS box. Wow, this is this is confusing. It's almost like Dustbox Dustbox doesn't want me to do this.
Um, what? No, I don't want that make far. Oh, there's a make.bat file, and I think that's possibly messing things up. Let's see. Illegal descriptor. All right, so open Whatcom two seems to be out of the picture. Could it be? Uh, let's see. The CWS DPMI DPMI thing I have installed. Okay, so if I do C drive develop two Oh Something's happened. Something good possibly. Is that what it was? Okay, let's just try editing the make file. I'm able to open dash o2. So c flags, let's just remove the c flags. O2 might not actually be like an actual thing. Then let's W make this. What? Alright, so make is fixed. But also... This just has a ton of inline... 32-bit assembly? What? 1343 Mole add in it. Okay. So you got some uh some inline assembly, huh? That's understandable, I guess, but why? Okay. 
Let's see. If defined I386. Okay, but I don't want to define that. Where am I defining optimize? Hey fishy poos, yeah this is me trying to figure out how to get a TLS library to compile in DOS. Apparently it's using some uh, good old assembly. Oh. No. Else defined. Oh, if defined MSC ver or it's defined. Okay, so it's trying to use extended registers in 32 bit mode, but I don't have that because I'm in 16 bit mode. Um, so is the only option here that I have to use inline assembly? There's no C fallback. Oh, here, here it is. Uh, embed TLS have assembly. Oh, can I just disable that? Uh, include embed. I should probably check the configuration here. Okay. I don't want to use assembly, please. Yeah, we don't have that. We don't have that. Do we have time? I guess we have time date. Yeah, let's not use the platform. No SCD functions. No, we have those. Deprecated, remove, check params. All right. You probably should check some parameters. I mean, we're on DOS. It doesn't matter. We don't need to worry too much about speed. It's, it's not going fast. Embeds timing alt. AS. A lot of ciphers here. Uh, we'll worry about those later because I'm not sure which ciphers are actually going to work or which ones Twitch actually supports it. It might just be AES that we end up using or ChaCha. ChaCha might be good because then I can just figure out why it's broken because AES is black magic. Alright. Self test. Enable debug messages. Yes, please. I want this. Encrypt then Mac. Yes. Oh, I hate I hate that TLS involves the X509 parts. Oh, embed version C. Zlib support? No, we don't have that. This is a pretty big configuration file. 
but let's just see if that helps. Unknown pre-pressing directive hash hash. Oh, did I write hash hash? What did I do that for? ASNEC padlock C. I don't need that. Padlock C. I don't need via padlock either. What are you talking about? Okay, so back to the number you junk. Dimension cannot be zero or negative. I don't think it's saying that it should be zero or negative, but I feel like this is a very bad sign. Yeah. I feel like it just can't fit. Alright, so I don't think TLS is going to be happening in, uh, in DOS, sadly. Um, who would have thought that people would not port their uh, TLS code to 16-bit systems? I'm shocked. Shocked. Anyway, let's see if my Wireshark stuff is going to work. Because that way I can actually decrypt SSL streams for debugging. <laughs> You're disgusted? Yeah. How dare they... They... they they taint the name of C programming. C, known for its portability, its robustness against unsafe maths and type assumptions. I think that sounded too nerdy for even me. Okay, so I fixed the compiler. That's good. Don't worry though. The, the DOS bot will use SSL, but um, it'll just be done by Linux on the host. It'll be tunneled. I actually showed that off last stream, but I'm not sure if there's a VOD of it. Um, Let's find name shark. Uh, let's just junk all that because none of that looks useful. Alright, so does wire shark work now? No. Bash. I don't know why you cached that. That's weird. That's really weird that you would cache, like, the path like that. Oh, it works. Okay. So. 
That brings up an interesting question. A question I probably should have asked earlier. Um, but is my code crashing it? Uh, I didn't think it would, but I just realized this is C and you can do anything in C. You can write wherever you want in memory. It's all good. Well, no, not anywhere. Dissectors. Packet. No boundaries. There, there's no boundaries in C, but most of the time you're running C on a system with virtual memory, so... Virtual memory is pretty cool. You can just isolate stuff ideally unless your CPU has, you know unless your CPU has some interesting ideas on how to speed up speculative execution. I think virtual memory is pretty safe. Java knows a thing about memory. Does it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it does. I don't know how. Like, that honestly surprises me. I don't know where the bloat comes in with Java. You sure? Like, I know Java has its issues now, but uh, it didn't used to be bloated. Like I have a, uh, I have a like smart card that runs Java code, and that's like, I don't know how that's powered, but it runs on that, and it has like 40k of memory. That's also like ROM, so it's like RAM. I don't know. Does the Java VM like borrow Linux's idea about memory overcommit? Like I do know it. I do know the pain of having to install an extra four gig of RAM in my brother's computer so he can play Minecraft with mods. I do know those feels. Okay, so that was actually my code. Why is my code breaking things? Maybe it's not breaking things. Maybe... No, it's definitely my code breaking it. What's wiretap? Is that what I want? Oh. No. It's nothing that I want. I should probably change my clock so it looks like I'm awake at a good time. Play some birds outside, some sounds of that, some uh, 96k mp3s. Okay, so my code is not good. It's crashing things and I don't know why. But luckily, we have some... Oh, that's good. It's blocked by the overlay. Yeah, I, I remember putting the overlay there because there was like nowhere else on my screen I could like put that. But uh, rest assured, it is a normal time to be up and awake and doing a stream. Um, it is... It is fine. Uh, 
Okay, so what's this? Proto reg handoff SIP. It creates the SIP TCP handle and it adds it. And it just, it, it's supposed to, I mean, why you gotta be like that? That's the Kappa emote, I know that one. I'm an avid Twitch viewer. I watch games on Twitch and enjoy them. Did you see them go fast in that one the other day? The... Zelda? Zorda, yeah, I think that's what it was. Okay, so we created a sector handle here. You know what, let's just open up another window. And set that to be buffer too. Yeah! Princess Peach in the Zelda and the zoom move. What about Princess Elise? Isn't that a good princess? One of the top three of the video games? <laughs> Real Twitch addicts only speak in emotes and us foreheads only watch programming streams. Yeah. Get home from work and crack open a cold can of PHP. Proto rec handoff. So we create the dissector handle. That already had the handle? Where did this make the handle? I'd rather it be cyanide than PHP? Oh. I hear PHP 7 is not that bad. I heard root canals aren't terrible. Yeah. I mean, there is a lot of PHP hate on the internet. And I feel like I could use my position of power here on my on my Twitch stream to act as a centrist and say that I, I think whatever tool... No, I can't. PHP is... But at the same time, is there something better than PHP? I have to deal with legacy PHP apps at work. Yeah, that doesn't sound th that good. SIP TCP handle. The newer, the newer um, PHP has like uh, Packages, not packages. They have like a package manager now, and that's pretty cool. Why is this not working? Oh, I'm so angry. Oh. You know who also has a package manager? Go, you know how terrible it is? Extremely? I feel like you're now being angry at package managers in general. What is... how is Go meta? I, I actually don't understand Go, it just looks like... Boring C. It looks like boring C and uninspired rust. SSL dissector add. So it's dereferencing. You know what? I have debugging symbols here, probably.
Go and Rust seem to be the meta. Rust is just a safer version of Go. Yeah. Like, to be honest, I'm still a little peeved at Rust and Go for their uh, direct syscall BS. No, I'm actually, like, I'm actually angry at Rust because it only, it just eats so much memory and it, like, only works on 64-bit systems these days, doesn't it? What, what did I do to the stack here? Jeez. What happened? Oh, something's terrible. I made it angry. Okay, so what is IRC handle? You know what? I can just break here. I have that power. Just transpile your C sharp to WASM for. What is WASM? No, I know what WASM is, but I still haven't even gotten aboard the JavaScript train. Like, is WASM the new Java? <laughs> Is that supposed to be like a value and not a constant? I can't function without tab completion in Vim, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did it break? <gasps> okay. I have a backtrace. This is... I've gone back to before it all went wrong. Also, it really bothers me that there's like colours everywhere. I don't need colours. You don't need to give me colours here. It's okay. I can read. Next. All right. So, what's the IRC handle? Yeah, but the colors actually like make it harder to read for me, and they add nothing. Like, why? Why is this blue? That's like an. I don't know, it's just... I mean, if it's a problem between keyboard and computer, like, that's an accessibility issue. If your editor slash IDE don't have colors, are you even a programmer though? I mean, if your eyes don't have colors, are you a programmer? What the hell did I just run that for? I'm an idiot. I just reflex myself. I just turned syntax highlighting off. Can't be colorblind and a programmer. Is it PC to say that colorblind people should be able to program? Is this, is this where we're at? Oh no. I can say that.
I don't know what that band is, but it sounds cool. I guess we're just stepping. To see what... To have a try block and see? Okay. Tap in it, press in it. Alright, so it's probably something here. Nope, it just caught an error. What the... C doesn't even have catch! What is this? This isn't real. God. Okay, so... The sector rider didn't bother saying what the error was. I didn't... I don't know what the error was. Okay. So, something happened here, and it's my fault, but it's unclear what. So, let's just see. I think I'm using SSL to sector wrong. So, let's just see what... SIP TCP handle, IRC handle. Edit packet. Let's check out packet HTTP. Yeah, the code's like being very unhelpful. Oh, that's the bird. It's, it's, there's birds outside. That means it's daytime. Okay, so for each... For each HTTP TLS range, range add, HTTPS callback. So the port... OCE. I'm not in a band. I'm good. Um, how come that does... Range out of HTTP is called. HTTP TS Ender. Oceana, yes. I'm in the Australias. Hmm. Yeah. Gotta stream at night so I don't get the racism. I'm from the US of United States of Oh no. Oh no, these are these are things I don't know. Oh no. So you're both from Europe? Oh. U.S. of Hawaii. Anything that isn't like U.S., Canada, or Australia, that's Europe. Hawaii. Who ya? <laughs> oh, I tried. <laughs> I'm trying. Quickly, copy and paste the Wikipedia phonetic stuff. Ireland. That's pretty good. Okay, I think I got this here. Um, IRC, HTTP, IRC, no, dissect, EU West one. <laughs> Photo, I uh, see. Okay, so. And then I use RSC TLS handle. I mean, Ireland's pretty good. I think it was in that, that documentary about Atlantis. 
the sec to add string uh, dissect TLS dissect HTTPS please HTTP Dublin that's pretty cool Oh, what do you what do you do as a tourist when you go to another country? Because I feel like there's nothing you can do because you're a tourist. You just have to do the touristy things or get scammed. Oh, but can't you do that at home? I'm a country boy, not from Dublin. Isn't Ireland, like, wet? Okay, this might be... Uh, not Australia. Australia's not wet. I don't know why I sounded proud of that. We're at like level 4 water restrictions at the moment. I shower for buckets so I can do my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> don't waste water, kids. Um, get HTTP conversion data. Okay, so let's see... Australia equals Singapore levels of water restriction. Singapore has water restrictions? They just look like rich and stuff. You can't, like, if you have money, you've got to have water. We also get really sad when it's like 19 degrees. Yeah, that's, that's cold. That's when I start, like, putting jumpers on. They buy their water from Malaysia. Yeah. RC. Dissect RC. Oops. Nope. That's not it. What do you mean at least? Isn't that like something all areas should have if they have clean water? Okay. TV packet info tree confident. Okay, so I think there's a callback here to nest it. So we're just gonna do dissect IRC. Yeah, Flint, Michigan. That's like scary. Packet info tree void data. I live in New York City, but like, yikes. Yeah, it's like, what, what the hell went wrong? Tree data. So what if I just do this? Will that work? Because that makes a lot more sense if I'm nesting an existing dissector inside a TS TLS callback. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. I've just heard things. I've I've seen the news.
The news is scary. Don't read the news. I feel like I've either fixed the problem or I've like not we making we building I don't know what comes next we crashing I'm gonna run it without GW, GDB so can, I can experience the Oh. Um, okay. I need to install this, but... Uh... That's weird. It didn't crash. This is confusing. Yeah, you have to like be coy with your with your uh with your patches. Yeah, I just I don't want to I just don't want to like get hope. I don't want hope. Oops, I was running the wrong thing. I don't want to get hope that it's going to work and then just have that crushed. Why is this not working? See, that's not working. There's only one reason that can be. This is what happens when you have hope. I'll just pseudo it. That's fine. There's no reason not to pseudo this. It said permission error. Um, I think you're referring to like it trying to do group stuff, new I. But uh, I have to have a look. Maybe it's changed. Maybe I need to she modded or something. Okay, so I have my IRC stuff happening there. Oh. Test. Um. Oh no, that's just the uh, Ethernet because I'm doing loopback. Okay. Uh, close. Uh, any. No, when you tried to listen the dialogue said it. Yeah, but I've seen that dialogue like ten times and I'm pretty sure I don't need to ever see it again to know what it says. And there's absolutely no reason for me to like think about it further. Okay, TLS. Transport layer security. IRC over TLS. IRC over TLS. Alright, so I need to pull in. Need to crack open. I, I don't have any memes for this. I need the master keylog file. Okay, yep, okay. Why you no decrypt? Why you no decrypt? Hello? Oh, is it because you didn't get the handshake? That might be it. Let's just join Twitch chat. What? Oh! Yay! It works! Check this out. It, uh... It shows the IRCs now as packets on top of TLS. I believe. 
I think. I think. Hang on. This might be a hundred percent wrong. Why is the destination set like that? Okay. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Connect IRC Twitch chat. Client hello. That does look like it, right? But is that because I'm manning in the middle of the man in the middle proxy and that's on loopback? Yeah, that makes sense. So we have decrypted TLS. Oh, check that out. That's uh, that's exactly what I didn't want to show. Um, why is that showing two packets? But while we're at it, <laughs> <laughs> why is that showing two? Um, I see things. Is IRC just sending two things, request nick user? It might be sending two things at once. Okay, so while I've got this and, uh, you know, let's just see if we can filter by request or something. Or should I, okay, so here's the thing I wanted to originally test. If I delete that packet, can I delete that packet? Ignore packet. So then, if I go to follow the TCP stream, no. Follow HTTP stream, no. Follow TLS stream. Yeah. Okay. So by ignoring the authentication packet, it doesn't show the uh, OAuth key. Great. So I'll be able to do some actual like showing of stuff of what's going on uh, just by hiding the auth key. Um, let's just see though. Where is the hidden packet? I do the cap. Uh, can I just search the packets? Um, display filter string uh, pass. Auth I think I messed it up uh, by ignoring the packet. View. Is this it? No. Welcome, your host is server is rather new. Okay, so application data. So before that, there's the request. Oh, ignored. Okay. So let's say I don't ignore that. And it's. Request Nick user. How am I supposed to know that that's like the OAuth packet? Hmm. Can I create a filter for that? Command pass. Prepare a filter selected. Doesn't equal pass. I hope, like, if you're actually going to steal my OAuth keys, you, like, use OCR or something. Because that looks like kind of hell to manually type in as my mouse is going everywhere. Okay, so we have that. Filter, pass. Uh, 
Paracota. Why did that work? Have I just lost that ability to now? Command parameters. No. The fair filter not selected. Okay. So if I do that, then I do follow TLS stream. No, that still shows it. I'm too tired for that shit. Yeah. Okay, but can I find um, bypass? No packet contained that in its info column. Packet details find. Yeah, but then it selects it, so that's not what I want. I want to be able to just wipe it out as soon as I see it. So. Prepare, filter, selected. Okay, so what if I just do that and it shows it? Great. Okay, hang on a second. What if I just cancel that search and I do nothing and I'd be like, I want to search for that. No. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is a bit of a pickle. That's something I thought I'd never say either. Uh, let's see. I could modify the um. Could I could I modify like um it to to hide the password request? You like pickles? They're pretty good. Wireshark hide packet automatically. Is there like a global filter I can apply? Edit ignore packets. Nope. Close. File analyze. Uh, hmm, preferences. Capture. Oh, I'm an idiot. So what I'm actually supposed to do is... Oh, but... Is, uh, is there an actual like way to not capture that? So if I go to like close and I set that as the capture filter. No? Why? Manage capture filters. Oh, that's the Wireshark capture filter. Okay. Uh. probably change the OAuth key in a minute too. Actually I'll do that on my Twitch account. So I can just invalidate it. I'll get a packet trace first. And then I can just save that. So we're gonna do any and then we server reconnect. and then stop. Okay, and then I can just, uh, I don't know, nuke that. Wow, the music's dead. But I'm just going to replay it because I think this stream might be over soon. Depends off I can actually fix it. What is this crap here? Okay. View. So 
So request nick user always has it. So can I just right click? No, nope, that shows the. Uh... Yeah, it's stream over soon. Uh, once I get this finished, unless I'm gonna play dungeon crawl or something, which I haven't done before on stream, could be fun though. Protocol preferences. Can I filter things here? No. Um. Wireshark. Yeah, but dungeon crawls like I could easily get a good run and just go for like four hours, and that would like kill me. Do I stream often? Sometimes. I mean, I should. Ignoring packets. Do you do any streaming fishy poos? So what I could do is I could have it uh, prepare filter not selected. Okay, so if I do that, then I find that. Um, let's see. Wait, did you wake up early or have you not gone to bed yet? Um, so what happened is I was like, I was trying to stream at around noon my time and I just got like fatigued for like a week. And it turns out my body just doesn't want me to be awake in the daytime at the moment. So let's see. Follow TLS stream. Uh, filter out this stream. No, that's not what I want. Is there a way to just save? Okay. Why shark? This thing at the side is like really bothering me. Apply a filter. Follow TCP stream. I uh, see. Where's the TCP there? Stream. So then we go, applies filter selected. So we get all that. And then can we save, export specific packets. And then we go there, we go debug, and we go save. So then can I open that up? And will that show the password? That's right, because I didn't ignore it. But I should have, like... Why, Shark, why are you doing this to me? Okay. Because I really want to use the, uh, view the, uh, flows in the streams, but it'd be like, no, you got to see the password, and I don't want to show the password on stream. Um, could I just, like, flat out delete all these packets that I'm not using? Like, I'll find the hello, I'll find the nick, um... No, I can't delete all before, can I? Wow. 
what if I close that? Does that stay? That's weird, because now it's just... Oh, can I just hide that window? Status bar, no, view status bar. View packet details. You know what I could do whenever this happens? I could just ignore it and put a OBS overlay up. I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. Okay, so that's that's solved. I don't know why it says HTTP stream. Is that because I've proxied it or something? Yeah. And then I've got... I should probably... Could you just not paste in the display filter every time that ignores that? The display filter doesn't ignore it. Um, the only way to actually ignore the package, uh, ignore the thing, the, uh, not package, the packet, is to right click on it and go ignore. And if I don't do that, then it shows up. But I'm okay with that. I can just quickly put up the overlay. And ideally, it would only be happening rarely if I have like a situation that can't be reproduced. When you follow a stream, it changes the filter automatically. Oh, does it? Is there a way to fix that? Or... If I delete the T file there, is that going to just... Follow stream. Oops. Follow. Look. Oh, so deleting the key, the log key has wiped that. That's interesting. Okay, so it's time to quickly make a patch and, uh, I don't know, put it with the rest of the patches, I guess. It's like the second piece of software that would have to patch for this. Oh, and, no, wait, does that work? Let's just read this error. Capture session could not be initiated. You don't have permission to capture. Alright, so I'll just actually just rebuild the Debian package later with the actual patch. So I have a Wireshark patch and a Slurp patch. That's good. And I have Open Whatcom 2. And uh, I have two IRC setups. I have the actual live Twitch bot. And I have the uh, testing server. Okay, let me just log in as my Twitch button and validate that OAuth key. Otherwise, that's like actual negligence. Maybe my bot's being used to like harvest emails now. And then I might play a quick game of Dungeon Crawl. I'm not sure. Technical. Social. Twitch bot. Yeah. I'm just looking through my key pass at the moment on my uh, other screen. Does this VM even have crawl?
Oh, you have to. Why are you looking at the ISC stream to reverse engineer some things? No, um, the ISC stream is, uh, I think it's publicly documented by Twitch. Um, no, this is just for debugging. Like, I'm making a Twitch DOS bot, but I also know that everything I do is going to break somehow in a weird way. So I'm going to have my Wireshark set up, I'm going to have a, like a local IRC server to test the bot with things. So when things do break, I can actually like check. Because I, I think what may end up happening is I'm going to have like weird bugs that only happen with the actual Twitch um, connection. Because I don't think they're running an actual IRC server, I think they're just exposing an interface. So there's going to be a bit of a mismatch. Oh, I... Uh, what does DOS mean in this context? Discovering server system. Um, no, it literally just means means uh, DOS box. Like I'm going to write some assembly and connect it to the internet in DOS box, which sounds actually pretty terrible. But uh, this is my life. Like, uh, while I'm actually at it, oh no, I don't remember how to authenticate right away, but I have in the past actually, like, just typed in the OAuth key into Telnet here. And, uh, connected to the, the Twitch. This doesn't have dungeon crawl. Yeah, straight up 16-bit uh, x86 assembly, however, I am going to have to pull in a library for the TCP connection because TCP is done in user space as much as there is one in DOS. Hey Twitch, can you let me set up two-factor authentication without adding my phone number? That'd be good. Like, we actually have that technology, we can... We can, we can do it. How are you going to get to the TCP stack with DOS? So, it took me like four streams to set that up, but uh, I have DOS networked. Oh, no, I'll just have to install it in the bin. Um, I'll show you in a second. Oh, I don't have myself in the pseudos. Do I have crawl? No. Purchase info, oh no. So, here we have DOSBox. And in it we have a serial port in DOSBox that is connected to no ball and C++. I'm going to probably use Whatcom. So we have the serial port connected to a local host port that's connected to um, Slurp, which is a PPP emulator that will forward things through Linux into the internet. And so, at that point in actual DOSBox, I have this program called EtherSL and some configuration files that let me connect over the serial port to a PPP connection. So it's a bit hacky, but it works. And it runs in user space too. Uh, not user space. It runs without any privileges. Well, I can't imagine them being able to do it. Well, originally. Originally, I wanted to just connect Twitch to the serial port directly. But uh, that was 
a very big headache for a lot of reasons. And uh, that ended in me just kind of rage quitting that. Mostly because um, let me think. I'm also like just opening up on my other screen the Twitch chat, ah, uh, the Twitch thing for the bot. Um, yeah, so the way DOSBox and Linux implement serial ports is they don't uh, loop back properly. They just ignore the control signals. And that just makes it really difficult to just do any kind of flow control. So TCP on top of that kind of fixes it, maybe? But the, also the idea is that I could actually connect an actual DOS computer and have another computer relay it over a TLS. This Twitch control panel, okay. Settings, please. I want to disable. Oh, uh, I want to disable the app I added. Connections. That's where it is. That's. Exactly where I didn't think it was, but that's it there. Okay. So hopefully my bot is not going to be used for evil. Like that bot earlier. That poor bot. If you have any other ideas on like how to connect it to the internet, do you have a computer that can run DOS slash MS DOS? You ask me. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of computers and they can probably run DOS slash MS DOS. The thing is, the networking card that's probably going to be the, the hell part of it. FreeDOS provides. FreeDOS is probably. FreeDOS is the target I'm heading for at the moment because it has a lot of uh, extra stuff, but the packet drivers tend to be the same. So I think the Intel, the Intel Ethernet drivers are what you get. Yeah. Um. Is that, is that not an MS-DOS thing? Or is that like a FreeDOS thing? Um, you can just... Use, uh... Damn Ethernet drivers. Straight in DOS. Your network interface card. And, um... They don't have Wi-Fi, I don't think. But this is basically the stack here uh, of probably. So this is the stack here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of useless stuff here. But this is the part that connects basically uh, the. Uh, do you have some ISA Ethernet card or something that works with 3DOS? Um, probably, I mean. The standard Ethernet gigabit um, thing should work fine. But I'm not too keen to run it on actual hardware yet. Maybe eventually. Because it cut out a whole bunch of debugging stuff. So TCP IP on DOS is just basically a packet driver. That is a terminate... Uh, Not ISA. Uh, I think FreeDOS does it over PCI. So the packet driver is a terminate and stay resident program, and your program calls interrupts into it. But unfortunately, the TCP IP stack actually exists in your application and not the packet driver. Uh, 
Uh, I have had like Windows 98 on someone on someone's computer, but. PCI was 33 megahertz. Okay, this is a dungeon crawl stream now. Um, PCIX, what is that? None of that matters with the serial. Yeah, I mean, I think modems do... I think the idea with modems is that you would dial it and then you would run your PPP driver. So we could theoretically get an actual dialer. Okay, let's open up a dungeon crawl.